morning everyone from Italy welcome back to a new video in today's video I wanted to share what is in my carry-on and what do I bring while I'm traveling I think it's safe to say that over the last few years I've traveled so much and in my own way became a packing queen um, I hope so and today I kind of wanted to run you through like what I'm bringing on my flight what is in my carry-on and how I kind of keep this all organized. So I can break down what's in my suitcase in three pillars. I will have always my valuables, like money, passport, jewelry, all of that. Heavy things, because often my big suitcase is already almost overweight. So the heavy things I will put in my carry-on because airlines tend to not really weight those. And the third thing is things I need when my bag gets lost. And I feel this is a very important one, especially now in Europe, because a lot of airlines are losing a lot of bags and it is just a nightmare to arrive on your destination and not have any stuff. So queen of packing is prepared for that. So I normally use one really big bag and then one carry on. And the reason why I love a really big bag is because I can put it near my seat and everything is in hand reach, like my laptop, snacks, all of these things and then the carry-on goes above. Right now in Europe, I am traveling with this Anina Bing bag. I thought it was super cute. I also can take it to the beach. So I kind of wanted to go through here first and then we will go over into her suitcase. So in here, I divide everything into pouches. And the reason why I do this is because whenever you need something and especially when you need something quick, that you're not like digging into a really big bag. You guys know, it doesn't matter how big a bag is, it will always be full. So let me start with my pouch with the valuables. So in here, I will have my passport. I got this little like pouch from Route Events. So I have in here my, some like cards. I have my passport, I have my vaccination card. Not really that you need it right now, but just in case and a little bit of cash. So yeah, I keep it in here. Very easy to grab. I also got my charger, very important, my headphones. And then, I know I'm a little weird, but I also bring these headphones and I actually like these with the strings so much better than the wireless ones and I don't really know why. There's also a lot of research coming out that these can be very damaging for health so I don't really know. Anyway, I carry both of them, you know, for every occasion I can plug them in. I have a little pen, sometimes when you arrive with customs or something you need it. And I have my Summer Fridays lip balm. I don't know why that's in a valuable bag right away, but... And then I also have my wallet. I have this little one from Tom Ford. This is more for like everyday use. So yeah, that was my valuable package. Then very important, we're gonna go to my, I call it the wellness pouch. I have in here snacks, products, things I need on my travels and always want to have with me. This is actually a swim bag from Devon Windsor, but I really, I really like it. It's kind of messy in here, but I'm going to run you through all the products. Obviously, I have my wipes, a mask, very important. Then I will bring my CBD. I find traveling sometimes very stressful, like just the airport, the people, the stress of like getting on the flight. And it just like, I feel kind of over the last years, it became worse and worse. Like before I was like just getting on a flight and just go with it. But after traveling so much, I actually feel more anxiety around it. It's weird. But something what really helps me for red eyes or like night flights, I take the CBD from Highline Wellness with melatonin. And this just helps me get into sleep a little more. My other CBD relief roller, I absolutely love love this. It's also from Highline Wellness and it is an essential oil so I put it here on my wrist and then I put it like on my neck and immediately it's like this smell of like spa and I just like I don't know it really calms me down and I always bring this. Then I also bring some face mist. This one from Dr. Barbara Sturm because I don't do skincare in a plane. I think it's really dirty but it's really important to keep your skin hydrated by obviously drinking a lot of water but also spraying water like every hour on your face. So yeah. 
stay hydrated. I also bring my Seed Daily Symbiotics. It's a probiotic and prebiotic in one formula. Just in case my big suitcase gets lost, I always want to have these with. And I also bring these travel pouches of Athletic Greens, which is like a daily nutrition with like vitamins and minerals. Then I also bring tons of snacks because you never know, like I feel the airports always have such bad food and then sometimes you're delayed and things like that or I'm just bored on plates and I just want to eat. So actually in London I picked up Delicious Ella, which many of you recommended to me to get. I absolutely adore her, like everything, her whole brand and just the way she approaches wellness. And I also got some um, like nuts and stuff, you know, all the things. And let's see, the last thing in here is also tea. In the flight, I don't really drink sodas and not really alcohol. So then I either have my water or when it's cold in a plane, sometimes it's really cold. That's like the worst when it's like freezing because I get cold so fast. So I love to make myself a little ginger tea. So yeah, this is my wellness pouch. It's almost a suitcase by itself. Then I also have my glasses in here actually my glasses are supposed to be in here i have my sunglasses and then i also have my reading glasses so when i'm on the airport i can see the destinations otherwise i can't see anything but yeah also got like a hair clip always nice and then this is my laptop case and in here i bring my laptop because i bring my laptop everywhere very important so yeah this is what i bring in my hand luggage and honestly these pouches i don't even unpack them they're just always in there and i just switch sometimes a different pack but this is what i bring with me on my flight and it's underneath my seat so i always have this so now let's hop right into the carry-on suitcase i feel my carry-on again has the three things valuables heavy things and things i need whenever my big suitcase get lost i recently actually started doing this but i bring my toiletries on the plane right now you would be surprised how many of your favorite skincare products makeup products are under 100 milliliters so you can just bring them on the flight so this is my big toiletry bag i think i got this set at ulta it's from tartan twine it's really cheap it is really functional to use as well honestly my toilet bag when you open it up it's just like a mess of like deodorant skincare products serums hairbrushes like all of that i would say like 90 percent of everything falls under 100 milliliter so i can bring it on the plane just in case your suitcase gets lost buying all these products can add up pretty quickly in cost and also you have everything double then which is not really great because skincare and stuff like expires but worst case if you would have to buy some new clothes or something i feel every girl would, wouldn't really mind buying new clothes so yeah my toiletries get priority over clothing in my carry-on and then this is my little makeup bag i really love that it has two pockets in front so the front one will have all my brushes so this way it kind of stays separate from all the makeup and it's just like cleaner that way especially if you're traveling around and then in the big pouch when you open it up it's just all my favorite products i buy a lot of things in mini for travel so i have it in big and in mini really like these little ones from hula this is a bronzer highlighter this is a little translucent powder Did I, say well? I don't know from Laura Mercier, also very helpful. And then Giorgio Armani like concealer. Yeah, almost everything is in me. Love it. I love this Laura Mercier blush and this is like Charlotte Tilbury, like a lip. I'm actually wearing it now. I know all of you are gonna ask like what the shade is. It is Princess Kiss. Uh, it's like a really nice lip balm, but with a tiny bit of color, it's really nice. So yeah, that fits in here. So all my makeup can go with me on the plane. And again, if the airline loses my bag, I got my makeup and I can get ready. So then, okay, I don't know if this is something, you know, you guys find interesting to see, but obviously my job is creating content and I travel a lot with a lot of like gear and stuff. I have my tripod with my cameras on right now. I obviously have my film camera and all of it 
chargers, batteries, SD card. So I got this pouch. It is specially like a travel equipment. It's pretty thick, so it also kind of protects everything. I got this one on Amazon. So the first layer here is actually a lot of stuff I'm using right now, so it's not in here. But this way I can organize all my, um, yeah, what is it? Plugins. <clears throat> my voice. The air conditioning was on here really, really on the strong thing. So I really feel I woke up a little bit sick. Um, anyway, then we go to the main pouch. So in here, I will have my film. I will have my camera in here. And then I have my big MacBook charger. So yeah, everything stays together. Even if you're not a content creator, I think you should have a separate pouch for all your electronic stuff. So much better and also you can't really check this in because of safety stuff. I feel that's always the first thing you ask when you check in the back. Then another thing under the valuables is my jewelry. I never check in my jewelry. The reason for this is it's way too valuable for me and I would hate that my jewelry would get lost or something. I don't know, it's just better to have anything valuable in your bag. So yeah, this is just like a little pouch I have and then I mean, I don't know if you want to see this, but I like reused all these bags and I have my jewelry in here. So yeah, this way I always know I have it with me. I wanted to use like a jewelry case, but honestly it never really works. I haven't really found a good one. So if you guys know a good jewelry case, which is not too big, where you have to plant them behind it and it never really works i feel okay then we're gonna go into the heavy segment so things that are way too heavy to check into my bag and actually things that were really loved I feel this is the very much like the fit girl moment so even though i'm on the road i love packing my bala bengal oh, that's a little clutter here my bala bengal ankle weights these weights are super nicely designed they are one pound each so there's no way you can check these in these i use for like my workouts one thing though, it's with all ankle weights, when you, once you like put them in your carry-on, the scanner will always pick it up because the stuff what's in here or something, they see something weird. My elastic band, so I can do like a little booty workout. And then, I freaking love this thing. This is my expendable foam roller. And this way, on the road, I can stretch. It's just great. I love it. I got this on Amazon, so whenever people say like they can't do any workouts or movements while they're on the go, not true. You just gotta be prepared, that's it. And then last but not least, any space I have left over in my suitcase, I just add on shoes and clothing. I always bring one of these and in here there is at least one set of clothing, socks and some underwear. Just in case they lose my bag, I have some basics. So I love to put it into this pouch. This is from um, Lean Travel. I also got this one on Amazon. And then what I do too is I have little bags. This one's really big, by the way. And then I put any designer bag I am bringing with on vacation or on travels in here because again, I would hate my suitcase to get lost or <laughs> you could play a drinking game here whenever I say this, Drake. You just never know. Maybe someone grabs your bag by accident or someone steals your bag. You just never know. So my valuable like designer handbags i put them in a little pouch and they go always in my carry-on so yeah this is my what i bring on vacation and how i organize it also the brand of my little suitcase is to me i really love to me it's maybe not the like most aesthetically pleasing suitcase but it is so functional and the quality is amazing like i've dragged this thing through the dirt, the rain, through every city, and it stays still very sturdy. I don't know, they make very good suitcases. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed kind of my little pack with me. I hope you got some inspiration also. Maybe if you're going on a trip or if you're going to visit some new country or city in this summer. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you very soon.